Greetings again, Father Vincent Free, Missionary of the Sacred Heart, here to share with you some reflections on Father Chevalier's approach to prayer. One of the most important things about prayer is the perspective we take to prayer. And I think to understand Father Chevalier's approach to prayer, we have to understand his concept of how he saw Jesus. How we see God or how we see Jesus is determined in part by how we see ourselves, and the, the, the reverse is also true. How we see ourselves will influence our way of seeing God. Jesus saw, uh, pardon me, Chevalier saw Jesus, not just as the most merciful Redeemer, but chiefly as the eternal High Priest, the glorifier par excellence, the one who worshiped the Father in all that he said and did here on earth. And I think Father Chevalier took this kind of an attitude because of his awareness of the primacy of worship. He didn't see Jesus merely as a redeemer, but also as the one who gave glory to God. And when we look at the life of Jesus, what we find out is that when he was just a young, young lad, 12 years old, they went off to uh, Jerusalem for the annual celebration of the Paschal Mysteries. And after they were over, Mary and Joseph go back to, they're going back to Nazareth, and Jesus stays in Jerusalem. Here he is, 12 years old. He's in the temple, and he's, he's talking with all these elders. Meanwhile, Mary and Joseph are wondering where he is. They have to stay overnight before they can catch the next caravan back to Jerusalem, because you couldn't travel alone. You'd be overtaken by thieves and robbers. And then they spend that whole next day looking for him. Finally, on the third day, they find him in the temple. And what happens? Mary says, Jesus, son, how could you have done this? Your father and I have been searching for you for three days. And Jesus is astonished. He's astonished. He says, did you not know I had to be about my father's business? I was being in his temple. And of course, what we take from this, this is a very interesting exchange. What we take from this is that Jesus finally realized he had to be go down to Nazareth and be subject to them in order to be made into an authentic human being. To go through all those many years of prayer and reading scripture and, and trying to understand and obey the, Mary and Joseph and to grow not only his ability as a carpenter but especially as his ability to understand his own purpose here in life, his mission. And then even when he becomes, he's active in his missionary activities he takes time out to pray. He goes to the mountain alone and he, 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 he engages in prayer. And what we see here is what we understand that in Jesus' life, he became an authentic human being precisely through all those years that he spent in Nazareth. And this is what really equipped him and empowered him to be the Savior. We uh, think back to what F.X. Durwell said. I, that was a guy, with, I couldn't think of his name. But he said that uh, Jesus became man in order the more fully to become the son of the Father. And he was so fully human as to appear to be nothing more. All of this precisely because he was a man of prayer. We have to look in prayer as an aspect of worship. And I think to sum up very quickly, the dimensions of worship are adoration, first of all, giving glory and praise and honor to God. The second, the need to uh, offer thanks and, and, and prayers of gratitude to God. Gratitude is what it generates in us, the spirit of generosity. Thirdly, the spirit of reparation, to repair the, repair the damages done to us by our lack of our uh, uh, our mediocrity and our lack of zeal and readiness to share the good news. And finally then, the prayer of petition, which acknowledges that God is our sovereign Lord and that we look to God for meaning and purpose in our lives. This perspective that sees Jesus as the glorifier par excellence should give us an indication in our own prayer life that what we pray and what we do is all, as Jesus said at the end of the Beatitudes, let other people see the deeds you have done and give thanks and praise to our Father in heaven. Thanks very much for listening. Take care and God bless.